guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2018 New York Toy Fair, and I'm here at the Gentle Giant booth with my good friend Daniel. How's it going? You know, sometimes you say, you'll say that like they're your good friends, but we actually are good friends. We actually are. I'm not even making that up. We like to, this we've is done, my friend. We've done a podcast together. <laughs> we've right. got, we go way back. Yeah, so that's right. This time he's actually telling you the truth. <laughs> That we're friends. Not lying we about talk that old friend. Outside of these sorts <laughs> of things. Right, so, right. <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. It's a, it's a good show for us. Uh, this is our triumphant return to Toy Fair. Yeah. Uh, we have not been at Toy Fair for probably 10 years. Last time we were here, we were in the old toy buildings. Oh. Uh, did you even go over the toy? I, I was that before was I was years? coming. This is, I think, my ninth Toy Fair, so okay. that was before me. This is number 20 for me. Wow. Yes, oh, this is my 20th old. year. Yeah, That's yeah. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, so we're back at Toy Fair and we're really excited. Uh, we're showing off, first of all, some of our Gentle Giant LTD stuff. Gentle Giant has been around for almost 20 years. Uh, we're known for doing a lot of our, our high-end collectible statues, busts, that sort of thing. So we brought some, some reveals of that, too. But then we also are launching seven new mass market lines, wow. which is why we're here for this show, because you know that's where all the buyers and things come. Right, so right. I'll start with some of the reveals here real quick. Uh, we've got these... These bookends here, our Star Wars bookends, they're sold separately. There's Darth Vader on this side, a Stormtrooper on the other side. So if you just like Stormtroopers, you want two Stormtroopers, or if you're a Vader guy, you can get two Vaders, or oh, okay. you can mix and match. So yeah. they're sold separately. It's the first time anyone's seeing them. They got this great marble finish. They're very heavy, non-slip feet. They'll hold your books Sweet. just through the power of the dark side of the Force <laughs> oh. and their sheer weight. Uh, other reveals for the show here, uh, Forlom and Boba Fett in our Collector Gallery statue line. You can see we've kind of got a theme going this year yeah, with the Collector Gallery line. A little bit line. of one, a little bit. A yeah. little bit. Uh, Boba Fett will be solicited for pre-order next week, and then we'll probably see Forlom, I expect, next month uh, going cool. up for pre-order. IG-88 is the first one. He was just released last week, so he's available now, and then these two guys will be coming soon. Uh, and then we'll have two more in this line. I'm sure you can guess which one, one of them is, at least, uh, that will show off at San Diego. Then also a big reveal and announcement at the show are our Wolverines in our Marvel Collector Gallery line. We have a history of Wolverine with these four guys, starting with his first appearance here with his little kid ears and whiskers. Yeah. Uh, we've got sort of the Frank Miller brown costume from the 80s, the tiger stripe, more sort of 90s Wolverine, and then old man logan that is really cool i actually really like how they're kind of all in the same stance and yeah. really can kind of see the changes in the designs with them that's yeah really cool. yeah that, that's something that we uh that we thought would be neat and if they do well you know he's got more costumes and looks and there's more sort of people in his universe that we can do to expand that line awesome. so yeah uh some of this stuff we've seen like the the spider-man mary jane has been announced and it's up for pre-order but no one's seen it in person before uh, so it's going to be out this week, I think. It's, it's finally hitting our warehouse for, for folks. It's the first time we've done two characters together. You know, it's nice for, for February, for Valentine's Day, yeah, the, totally. the, the, the timeless love story of Spider-Man and Mary Jane. Uh, and then we've got Squirrel Girl down here, our first flocked character. It's flocked. She's flocked. That's amazing. Her body suit is flocked, so oh. she's adorable. She'll be out by the end of this month, and then Daredevil will be out in March. Excellent. So, yeah, yeah. So, talking about all that sort of thing, you know, Gentle Giant, again, been around for almost 20 years. We were the pioneers of bringing digital sculpting and scanning technology to, like, consumer products and stuff. So, we've got this long history of trying to make accurate, fun product. But, you know, this is high-end. Not everyone can afford to buy six bounty hunters at $160 a pop. So, right. we're moving into the Gentle Giant toys, where we're taking the same sort of craftsmanship, experience and technology and making it at a smaller price point you know uh, we kind of in-house have called the kind of junior collector for people starting out but it's really it's for everyone it's cool stuff for everyone but if you're someone that's just you know you like star wars you like marvel or something and you you want to have a collection but you don't want to break the bank you don't want to build a new wing onto your house <laughs> this this is a great way to build collections quickly uh with the same sort of nice attention to detail using you know Scanning, because another division of our company scans on the sets right. of film. So we scan the actors, props, costumes, ships, and all that. And then we use that data and make accurate stuff. So we're, we're using that technology and that, that sort of uh, muscle memory and, and experience to bring stuff to the mass market. So let's go talk all about right, that stuff over here. All right. So the first of our lines we're talking about are our tiny tin pocket pails. Wow. These are going to be miniature lunch boxes. They're metal. 
Uh, some people have pointed out that they're roughly one six scale. So oh. if, if your hot toys need a sandwich or something, you might be interested in this line. Uh, oh, so they're going to be little hinged boxes. They will come with a thermos inside wow. that will be eraser material, so you can put it on the end of your pencil oh, if you like. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, we're doing actual, like, lunch boxes that, that were... Like the real lunch boxes. Real lunch box. Like, yeah. I, I carried this lunch box as a child, uh, and then doing some of our own designs. We were looking at this one maybe being a chase in the line. It's the Japanese poster. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then inside... They used to have that little safety regulation stuff. We did, I don't know if you can see, we've got our own little Easter egg of Chewbacca and Han, you know, saying like, buckle up with your buddy. We haven't put the text in there yet, but oh, so you can cool. see. And oh, then for amazing. Marvel, we'll do the, the same sort of thing with some little like, we'll have like Ghost Rider saying don't play with matches or something <laughs> like, you know, some fun like that, yeah, you know, course. just having fun with it. That's so cool. So uh, yeah, these are going to be like $5.99. They'll be in stores in the fall and we're, we're looking forward to it. We, with Marvel, we're starting out with sort of classic comic covers, uh, just because you know we we love the retro stuff. We yeah. like new stuff too, but retro is kind of in our blood. So yeah, totally. uh, we're starting off with that. Bust ups. Oh, bust ups are back. They're back. I yeah. remember bust ups. After about ten years, yeah. it was a line we did uh, for mass. It was our first venture into mass market, and we were blind boxed before it was cool. Yeah, that's right. And that's people right. didn't really understand it, and it made them angry. But now everyone's doing it. <laughs> So it's like, why aren't we doing that again? Yeah. Like, it makes complete sense. So bringing it back with, you know, some of our premier licenses like Marvel and Star Wars. We, uh, for Star Wars, are starting off with Last Jedi. We've got five characters, including Porgs. Oh, wow. Got to have the Porgs. Got some Porgs. <laughs> uh, we've got this fun packaging. We kind of internally we call it our Twinkie capsule. Uh, oh, so you'll awesome. get this. You can see the characters on the back. And then it's got a little peel in the corner that you open it up. And inside are all the pieces to build a cool little one-time model kit, you know. Oh, that's so cool. You snap that together and you get something awesome, you know, that actually looks like the the character. Yeah. You know? Those are really nice looking too. Yeah, I like yeah. Those. That's that's what we're that's what we're going for. We got a, you know, big angry snoke <laughs> with all the holes in his face and stuff. Oh so gosh. yeah. So wonderful. That and then the Spider Man stuff, you know. On Marvel, we get to go full figural oh, that's and, you know, cool. put in some really dynamic posing, yeah. you know, and fun bases and stuff and really just get to the, the core of the character. Of so course. I always love the, uh, this oh, big, the goblin looks big angry, great. Big goblin yeah. flying around on oh, his puffy smoke, just his big angry teeth. <laughs> Those are really cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We've, yeah. been, we've, we've had a, a blast working on these guys. So next we have our Marvel micro bobbles. These are the fun little guys. These are all internal designs that we did. Marvel really wanted to kind of push us to do something different than you know the the chibi yeah. style guy stuff. So we had one of our guys take a, a swing at it, and we really liked what he did. Uh, he really liked what he did so much that, apart from Wave One, he's designed about 200 other Marvel characters. Wow. He just went bananas with them. Oh, that's cool. So we've got plenty of waves of these coming forward. Right now we're looking at doing them these little, we call them pudding cups uh, for the packaging, these little capsules. On the back there, we've got a couple of variants in the first wave. We have Unmasked of the Green green Goblin, and then we have a Glow-in-the-Dark Venom. So these all come with bases that you can stick them on and have them stand, or they've all got these suction cups that relate to their, you know, their powers, their abilities, or their vehicles. So you can stick them on things and have them interact. Uh, you know, we've got like Captain America throwing a shield, and the shield is the suction cup and stuff like that. So, so cool. some other stuff coming up. They're really fun, uh, and we love them. That, you know, and they all have the little bobble action going. So, yeah, we dig those. Uh, Star Trek Discovery. Oh wow, get off! Yeah, this this has been uh, really well received. Here. It's funny what we we showed these in Dallas for the first time, and only the first episode had aired, and no one knew what it was, right. and no one wanted to take a chance on it. But now. The whole first season is wrapped. Yeah. It had a big cliffhanger. Everyone was really a lot of buzz about it. Right. Uh, and they've already picked it up for a second season. So we have a good relationship with the Star Trek Discovery folks because we help prototype some of their costumes and, yeah. and 3D print stuff. So we're launching the fleet flyers with this. It's kind of the idea of the old like ship danglers that you used to see. Totally. But we want we want to kind of 
plus that up a little bit and take it in a new direction. So they've got these articulated arms with suction cups on them. So you can stick them to things and then have the ships interact, you know, in, in different ways. Oh, that's so cool. yeah, that's awesome. yeah. And these are you the actual digital models from the show that we were able to get. So you get all the same weathering detail and insignias and everything. Wow. You know, they're a nice big size. Yeah. And they're like seven ninety nine. You can build a whole fleet. Excellent. Yeah, so, they look fantastic. Yeah. The sculpts and paintwork on we're looking for some other licenses for these things too, other things that might fly. So we'll okay. we'll see where we go Sweet. with these guys. Next. We have our mini heroes, which are scaled down versions of our Marvel animated, uh, but they're, they've got stylized bases uh, and, you know, they're highly stylized. They're based on actual Marvel comic covers uh, done by Scotty Young. And uh, just, you know, we, we love this line. We love Scotty's work. We're friends with Scotty. We had him at our booth signing. Uh, and just, you know, I think people are really going to dig these. They, they love the, the larger ones that we do, and I think they'll like the, the mini heroes as well. Then we have our super stills. Whoa, so our, our mini busts have always kind of been our bread and butter, you know, for the past 20 years. We've been doing Marvel, Star Wars, you know, Harry Potter. We've done a ton of those different ones. So we're coming out with these. These will be high-grade PVC instead of, like, resin, which we normally do. So they'll only be about $24.99. Okay. Uh, these are slightly smaller. Nor our normal ones are one six scale. These will probably be, like, one seventh scale, mm -hmm. just, just a little bit smaller. And it will hit like you know the A-list characters primarily. Usually two to a wave. Spider-Man and Venom are the first two in Marvel. We also have Star Wars. We don't have anything to show for Star Wars yet, but uh, you know there's some people yeah. that that like Star Wars. Uh, there's a few out there. There's a couple. Yeah, totally. We dip into that too. And then something else we're really excited about is our enamel pin line. Oh, yeah, doing. and enamel pins are all the rage huge, right huge. now, right? They're huge. These are some of our prototypes. These will be the actual designs we go with. Based on the action figures. I Starting love that. Off, yeah, Wave 1 will be starting with the sort of classic figures in this scale. Uh, they're in these blind boxes that are really kind of fun. They'll look like this. Oh. Kind of a ripcord thing on the side. Kind of like, you know, the FedEx package when you tear oh, into you it. Go. And then it opens up. You Look can see at what that! There's inside, oh, and it's got it. a little kickstand in the back, so so you can display it if you, you want to. Display it if you want, or you know, wear it on your lanyard, oh. your backpack, or whatever. So that is really clever. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And you know, a nice little homage to the classic figures, because you know, those are in our blood. We love them. Totally. Uh, so yeah. A lot of cool stuff. And it's we don't just have classic for that. We've got modern stuff too. You know, you can see. Oh, Praetorian Guard. Praetorian, yeah. yeah. So we've got. We've got the whole Star Wars license for enamel pins. It's, it's you know, we've got the official, official license, and we've got everything: animation, movies, characters, ships, droids, whatever we want to do. So Excellent. you'll certainly see a lot of those. But these guys, Wave One, will be based on those classic action figures. Very cool. So yeah, so those are our seven lines that we're we're hitting mass in the fall of this year. We're super excited about yeah. it. We've rebranded ourselves, you know. To be a little more friendly for the mass market, we've got the little giant. I like them with the giant butterfly. With the Our old logo with yeah. the handle of the butterfly. So yeah, we're really excited about it. We thank you very much for coming by. Of course. Well, thank you for taking the time to walk us through all of it. You got a lot of really cool, really exciting things happening here. So it's pretty cool to see it in person. We're pretty stoked. Yeah, thank you so much for coming awesome. by, and thank you guys for watching. Of course. And supporting my friend. Oh, oh, that's nice. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, there you go. A look at what's going on at the Gentle Giant booth here at the 2018 New York Toy Fair. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at Toy Fair. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Pixel Dan on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.